Hmm. Why are they focusing on her? Oh. Okay, episode 159. Yeah. <laughs> A really bad start for Fairy Tail. They came 8th place in the uh, first first uh, test. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I guess the, the Saber the Sabertooth Guild is really proving their that they are really number 1. And another thing is that yeah, Raven Tail is trying to disrupt Fairy Tail. I wonder what's their main goal. And yeah, Lucy, Lucy and uh, the crazy girl <laughs> from Raven Tail. Yeah, that's a lot of points. Yeah, I think the the battle are the ones that will really affect the flare, affect the results of the tournament. He sounds like um the the guy from Legionnaire. Oh, Lucy. Flare Corona. <laughs> she looks so great. She's really dangerous. She looks just from her look, she's really she looks like she's really messed up. They're really trying to ruin Fairy Tail's reputation. Oh. I wonder if she could still use the the Yeah. If wonder if Lucy could still the use the what is it called again? The dream, the nightmare, something from the infinity clock. Yeah, what is he after? Because I don't think it would benefit them if they would just destroy Fairy Tail's reputation. So maybe there's uh, something more than that. Oh, this would be, <laughs> this would definitely be good. This is, this is just. Tournament art. I'm so excited because I've been wanting, I've been wanting for Lucy to finally be able to showcase her celestial wizards. A lot more because I think she I think she could do a lot more than just summon her celestial spirits yep two at the same time yeah <laughs> I think there's she could and I think that the celestial spirits are are also becoming stronger because of of her Lucy So she's using flame. Yeah, I guess it's. Absorb. Whoa, a combination. Yup. <laughs> but I don't think it would be that easy. But it's really, it's really nice to see the, the power development of Lucy. Yeah. Cause yeah, Lucy back then <laughs> it was it was like she's always a burden to the others. But 
every arc has has making hers. Ooh. Has made her a lot stronger. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the perfect, the perfect spirit for fighting against her. So strength-wise, I think Lucy's stronger than her. So maybe she's just go, she's going to play dirty or something. Yup. Oh, the soundtrack. Lucy still hasn't used Leo. Oh, that hurt her. Oh, yeah, that's... That's why he, she's some kind of flame wizard. It's because her hair. So it produces a really strong heat. <laughs> that she's what she's worried about. And yeah, Lucy did face off a lot of stronger wizards from Tenrojima, from Nirvana. Oh, what if eventually she could summon the king of celestial spirits? Because she had the great bond. I <laughs> wonder if that's possible. I guess he, she still needs the, the golden celestial gate key or something of the king. Oh, here comes the crazy, <laughs> crazy girl. Oh, so... That boots did really protect her. At least it would be obvious that it's going to come from downwards. Oh, maybe it's a trap or something? Oh, they're cheating for her. Oh, I thought so. The, this is what I've been waiting for the Raven Tate to finally do. To play dirty. Because the first, the first Raven Tale from... Oh man. Because from the first uh contest with Grey, it seems like they're they're playing by the rules. Which is uh I was I was some I felt that it was underwhelming for this kind of dark guild to do. So this is more like more likely the 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 thing that I'm really expecting for them to eventually do is to play dirty. So Jalal was right.
what I'm thinking is that the dark the raven tail here was sent by Jeref or something. So this is all part of Jeref's plan. Oh man, this is going to be a lot more interesting now. <laughs> a lot more scary. Because I thought that this is just going to be a play in the tournament arc. Oh man. I'm so excited and worried at the same time. So definitely the Grimmer Hearts is here. Oh. What will do Silu? But th I think this is also a good thing is this will really piss off Lucy. And yeah, I hope she let Lucy mess her up I'll really good. Oh man. But I think that that's the thing with Lucy is that the celestial spirits can eventually protect her. They could come out whenever that they want. And I think she also she also had some kind of last resort protection with the clock when she's she's in I guess in life life threatening situation. We've seen it from um the Tendrajima. So I think even if Lucy doesn't want to fight, eventually the Celestial Spirits will, will protect her. Oh, and, and she's really messing up Lucy. Oh, I think every, every Celestial Spirits of Lucy will be pissed off. Especially after... After that, um, like party that they had in the celestial world or something. <laughs> oh, I can already feel it that yeah, I think the, the celestial spirits will be so angry so so pissed off that Lu Lucy's being treated like this oh Leo <laughs> Virgo oh that's messed up Can't wait for them to finally go out on their own. Oh, what is? Oh, this is going to protect uh the girl. Yup. Oh, Germany, she'll copy. <laughs> she'll copy her. Yeah, I think Germany is the most one of the most underrated celestial spirits that Lucy has. Oh, two celestial wizards! 
<laughs> Which is <this? laughs> Yeah, from the Edeless. Oh no. <laughs> uh oh. Yup, yup, that's what I'm saying. Oh. I guess it's some kind of limitation to that. Because that, that, that is what I'm thinking is that Gemini could copy any... I think that's what we've seen from the Nirvana is that Gemini could copy the wizard and then it's a lot more stronger than the original. <laughs> oh. Oh, I wonder if, if Gemini will also summon another celestial spirits. Hmm. Why are they focusing on her? Oh. oh, I'm getting chills. Ultimate magic of the stars. Oh, the one that she... The one... Oh, the one that she... She chanted on the Nirvana. Oh, I'm getting chills. <laughs> it is stars of the heavens. Oh, it is. Oh man, she could do it by herself now. Oh man! Yup. Oh man! <laughs> I'm getting chills. Oh, what happened? What was that? Oh, they're playing dirty. Oh, man. I think Jalal would definitely notice that. Oh, him. No. What are they going to do about it? Oh, the same magic that they made that they used to Wendy. Oh, that's dirty. And that's kind of OP that they could it could just drain the magic power of anyone and from that distance maybe 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 it's noticed it oh <laughs> but he is macro so definitely is really strong man But shouldn't the the ones so
взят на отсюда. Yeah, this game is really rigged from the start. Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> man. Feels so bad for Lucy after that, after all that effort that she made. Uh, but yeah, this is this is what I've been expecting from the Raven Tail from the beginning. That they'll they'll uh, eventually messed up the the tournament. But the thing is that I don't think it's just the Raven Tail. I think the whole tournament. So, because that guy appeared that I guess that night or something. And he sounds like um what was his name um the one from the leader of the legionnaires um Byro he sounds like Byro and it seems like he's connected to Jelal uh, not to not to Jelal to Zeref so what i'm assuming is Zeref it makes sense cuz Zeref Zeref um was able to get out of Ten Rojima yeah and and this tournament started after that eventually so so definitely this is some kind of uh, ritual that Zeref is doing you know maybe in, in order to collect magic power or something so because yeah it's it's been happening for seven years so it makes sense now that Jalal uh, no, not Jalal Zeref started this and maybe he's also manipulating the king or something and he did definite and the raven raven tail um i think yeah this is their first appearance after learning that the i guess learning that the original members has came back so maybe fairy tail has is really vital to that ritual or something that um that they have to do and yeah cuz cuz um because if all they needed is maybe maybe magic power, they don't have to defeat Fairy Tail. Um, but I'm still not sure what are their real goal is the the Raven Tail. I think there's there's more to it than just messing the Fairy Tail's reputation. And yeah, um, a lot more things that are getting a lot more uh, mystery with regards to this whole tournament thing. And but but I did really enjoy this episode a lot, especially with Lucy, um, showing her her strength that she could summon two celestial spirits, and that she could summon Gemini. I think Gemini is the what is the the most underrated celestial spirit that she has right now that she was able to get from um, Angel. And yeah, I guess I guess uh, they also said that there's a limitation to that. But there's also the there's room for potential that she could eventually do that. She could eventually be be able to duplicate Laxus Urza um, if she gets to the point where she becomes as strong as as them. I guess in terms of magic power. So the the ceiling for Lucy is really high for, and and yeah, she was able to 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 use the magic that she was she she used way back when I think that and that's also when she got um, Gemini so yeah the was it again ult, ultimate meteora yeah and yeah it's, it's just so amazing that she's now able to do it by her own ability oh man. Urano meteora so it was it got really <laughs> I got a lot of chills on that it also it was somewhat uh uh, I was shaking on those moments, so it was really a hype moment. But yeah, um, the Raven Tail really play, played dirty in that uh, in that moment. So 
But in terms of power, just pure power, pure strength. So I think Fairy Tail is stronger than Raven Tail. So far, we've seen from from them because from the first tour tournament with Gray, I never really felt that Gray is weaker than the other guy. It's just that he is able to um, utilize the situation to uh, just. Uh, I guess it's just point system, but with, with regards to just head-on battle. I think Gray is, is, is way stronger than that, that guy. But but the Sabertooth uh, did prove that back then that they are really the number one uh, guild. But yeah, um, with regards to... I wonder if the, the, the thing that happened to Wendy is the same thing that happened to Lucy. And if she could still... I wonder if she could still have... If she, if she still has some magic power left. Because it, it seemed like she was, um, the magic power from her was drained. Uh, even at the point that she's already she's uh, she she already made the she was a already able to cast the magic. So, or another thing is that it was blocked or something. Because it seemed. Because it seemed like. Maybe nullification. Because even Gem uh, Gemini disappeared. But I think even if she she disappeared, I think the ultim, ult, ultra meteora was already, uh, was already casted in it. It, it, it. All it was all all was left to do is, it all it has left to do is just um attack um the crazy girl. So. But it stopped from. Uh, do, doing damage to her and it just. Maybe it's a reflect or something like that. But definitely the S class wizards, the the strong wizards was able to notice something that um, that happened. So that's the thing. There's no referee, I guess, in this tournament. So, and I thought that the co I guess they're just commentators, the former uh, member of uh, Magic Council. So. They cannot really decide with the outcome of the tournament. So, I guess the the ones who's deciding the winner is the the pumpkin guy. So, yeah, a lot of uh, uh, suspicious characters in this in this tournament. That that night that soldier night guy that was talking about Zeref, Raven Tail, uh, Macro Sun Ivan, and and uh and uh what was it um uh yeah the pumpkin guy but yeah i forgot that they also focused on that girl that has blue hair i don't think i guess she somewhat looks like um angel but but i don't think that she's angel but they did focus on her when wendy was casting the ultra meteora and i guess she was using gemini so maybe that is angel I just didn't check me. Let me go back to that. So, was it? Is they? I don't think they would focus on her without any reason. Oh, maybe it is Angel. So maybe she joined the Saber Tooth. Hmm, I'm still not sure. But she's part of uh, Oration Says. And she, w she would be arrested immediately if she's... Uh, if she's Angel. Even if, I guess... She's in disguise. So yeah, the girl from Sabertooth with the blue hair. Yeah, when they were talking about Gemini, they focused on her definitely there's some connection to that so i think eventually they will reveal that so yeah those are my thoughts in this episode i really did enjoy lucy um uh, in this art in this episode i'm so um happy and somewhat proud that seeing seeing that character development that power 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 development that she had throughout throughout the beginning of the the series of fairy tale and i think uh i think uh, she's the one who's been writing the stories with regards to fairy tale. It's like uh, 
the representative of the author or something like that. So, yeah, I'm really somewhat proud of her that she's able to cast that ult Ultra Meteora, able to utilize Gemini and to and summon two celestial spirits at the same time. But the thing is that I I didn't they didn't showcase the celestial spirits being to being able to um come out on their own like Leo, what is Leo doing uh, in order to protect Lucy. I think also that that's the that's the mysterious thing is that uh, was it Duck Luck that activates whenever Lucy is in danger? It's like a last resort that will protect her in, in life threat life life threatening situations. I think they showed that in Tenrojima. Tenrojima or Nirvana art. I forgot. But yeah, uh, when Lucy what, what, there's this there's, there's something that happened and the and Lucy was protected by the clock. So she was able to survive. And she and the thing is that she didn't she didn't summon the the clock from protecting her. It just summoned uh uh uh, by her own, but by, by, by its own, so they didn't showcase that in this uh, in this episode. So yeah, but I guess they just uh, their their main focus in this episode is that Raven Tail is going to mess up uh, a lot of things, and they're going to play dirty, and definitely will uh, be a, a a bigger challenge for the fairy tale. But I think eventually uh, they'll still be able to. They've been in that situations before, so I think uh, they could push through that. Especially Natsu, <laughs> I'm so excited for Natsu, and to finally, hopefully she he he would. I, hopefully this is the moment where he finally um, showcase his Dragon Slayer form again. I'm, I'm I'm really missing that. I'm I'm. They've never really showed that again after um, Nirvana arc after Fighting Zero, so. Even in Tren Rajima, they never showed that. So, yeah, hopefully this time they would. So, or maybe there's some they sh they will show something else. And yeah, they they did show that uh, Natsu could combine two elements: the the flame and the the thunder combination of his uh, breath. A roar, roar is it again? Roaring dragon or something for you. <laughs> it's it's uh it's confusing me with the water beating technique from the, the demon slayer. So yeah, those are my thoughts this episode. If you would like to share yours or if you think I've missed some details, just leave a comment down below and please like this video if if you did enjoy watching my reaction and uh, subscribe to my channel if this is your first time here so you'll be updated whenever I upload my reactions on YouTube. And if you want to watch my reaction to the next episode. It is available now on my Patreon. Just go to the link in the description down below and it will really help support this channel and help me create more reaction videos like this in the future. So thank you again for watching. See you on my next video. Have a great day. Goodbye. Okay,